Avengers! Assemble. Welcome back to the channel. It's the Prevengers here, guys, and welcome back to another Marvel Future 5 video. As you saw there, those were the sort of highlights for the Marvel's inspired update that is coming out this uh, Tuesday. So tomorrow, uh, we went ahead and got the live stream uh, just a couple hours ago. It was actually uh, streamed about an hour from this video. Um, so we decided to go ahead and make a video here as usual uh, to sum it up for you guys and give you guys the highlights and basically tell you guys everything you need to know just in case you either a missed the live stream or b you just don't feel like going back and watching it so without further ado let's get straight into today's video starting off we had the long timer for 10 minutes ish that we usually do uh they went ahead and played the sneak peek uh that we actually saw just a couple days ago we got new artwork of course as always uh it looks great the frame with the sort of powers of every single character we got a little bit of uh captain marvel here a little bit of miss marvel a little bit of spectrum, all that great stuff. We got the character models actually floating on the sides here with Nick Fury and Captain Marvel, and it looks great. And of course, as always, we're back with 3RL. Uh, really appreciate this guy. He's doing his best every single time. He's even got a Marvel Future Fight t-shirt now on. Uh, and when the stream actually originally started and you pan over to him, uh, he actually has a uh, Thanos cup in his hand, which I thought was pretty funny. And it's the uh, Marvel Future Fight um, Thanos specifically. And I love how the mug actually goes up to make space for his gauntlet. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. So then he talks about all the new characters getting uniforms. Obviously, if you didn't know, we have Captain Marvel uh, with her Tier 4 and brand new uniform. Miss Marvel with her brand new uniform. Uh, Spectrum with her brand new uniform. And then, of course, Nick Fury with his Tier 3 and brand new uniform. So then he really goes into showing all their skill animations and whatnot. Uh, we're going to skip all that because we actually like to show you guys their animations uh, once we go ahead and um, actually do our own uh, reviews uh, on the day of the update. Uh, but the only one that I did want to look at a little bit was uh, Kamala because I was hearing some stuff about Goose actually being in her animations, uh, which I think would be uh, pretty hilarious. And I kind of missed it because I kind of skimmed it a little bit. Uh, but it is that third skill, as you can see with the cat. Uh, so we'll go ahead and show you here. Uh, it is Goose. <laughs> it's pretty awesome that they added him in. <laughs> that's actually my first uh, look at that skill animation, so that's pretty funny. Uh, he comes in, makes a cat noise, and then just destroys them with uh, all the tentacles and stuff. Uh, it's pretty funny. Uh, and I like that little creativity that, that they had with the animations. I looked at the other, all the other animations. They look pretty cool. Of course, as always, they never miss with the animations. Um, but like I said, we'll save that uh, for tomorrow's video. Going through all of them because there's a lot. Um, the other big takeaways is obviously Captain Marvel is now Tier 4. Uh, Miss Marvel Kamala Khan will stay a speed type, which is interesting. Because I honestly think making her a combat was the move. Uh, but I guess they're going to keep her speed, keep her competing with Luna and them. But obviously, they're tier four, so they have the clear advantage. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure what they're trying to do with her. Uh, I guess we'll get a better look uh, during the patch uh, details. Spectrum obviously stays transcendent and gets her brand new uniform. And then, obviously, what a lot of people are coming in for this update for is the tier three to Nick Fury, uh, making him uh, pretty, pretty solid support uh, for all your characters. Then, the next biggest takeaway. Here is that uh, Minivar, and I can't remember how to pronounce his name, uh, but he's a part of the Kree 
Uh, he was in the he was added to the game with the first Captain Marvel movie. They will both be actually getting transcended potential together. Uh, so that'll be pretty nice uh, to finally see some other characters getting upgraded uh, to transcended potential. Uh, we go ahead and take a look at the uniform options here. I'll actually look at these with you guys. Uh, Captain Marvel has Black Dwarf, X-23, Hulk, Mantis, and Carnage. Actually pretty good. All the uniforms are their latest uniforms. Uh, honestly, Black Dwarf and X-23 are the only two that are sort of tanking this list down. But otherwise, it's pretty good. Miss Marvel has Agent Venom, Red Guardian, Doc Ock, Proxima Midnight, and Juggernaut. All great uniforms again, except for the Proxima Midnight, because that is not her latest uniform. It's actually the Infinity War uniform. Uh, but the rest are pretty good. Red Guardian is probably the next worst. Uh, but still, very uh, recent is the best part. Uh, then, uh, Monica Rambeau. She's got Dormammu, Modok, Spider-Woman, Jessica, Rogue. Uh, all the latest uniforms they have. Some very outdated, though, with like Dormammu and Jessica. Uh, but the rest are pretty solid and uh, still relatively new as well. They got some relatively new ones in there. Then, as far as Nick Fury, he's got Ebony Maw, Storm, but in Human Storm. Titania, Wong, and Yelena. Uh, Ebony and Storm, unfortunately, are not the latest uniforms, uh, so it's not the best. But the Storm is not the paywall one, so that is a plus side to it. Uh, but then Ebony Maul definitely could have been his latest uniform instead of Infinity War. Now, the other biggest takeaway that you want to take from this sort of screen here is that his uniform's on 40% discount. Meaning that we still won't get the 50% uh, off um, Black Friday sale uh, until towards the end of the month. Uh, so honestly, I'm going to most likely suggest that all you guys save your crystals for uh, the um, the Black Friday sales to go ahead and buy these uniforms at 50% off instead of 40% off. I think this sort of 40% off is right now is supposed to get you excited to go buy these uniforms. But honestly, buying them at 50% off is going to be the way to go uh, unless you specifically have to for some reason. Uh, I'm going to tell you 100 probably 90% of the time that you should wait until the Black Friday sales to buy all these uniforms. So next up, uh, some surprising stuff that I wasn't expecting to hear about. We got a new legendary battle for the Captain Marvels, uh, for the Marvels uh, update. Then we have improvements to Alliance Battle and a ABX and ABL, which we'll talk about because uh, they don't show all of it, uh, and I am curious to see more about it. But first, let's watch the little quick trailer for Legendary Battle and see what it's all about. Pretty cool animations here. Uh, overall, really well done on the animations uh, this live stream. I'm not going to lie on all the trailers. Kree have found her. It transitions there into her doing her skills. So a couple more looks at her skill animations. Like I said, we'll dive deep into them uh, in tomorrow's video when the update actually drops. I like how they made the animation on her face like she's annoyed, like, oh, come on, I didn't want to have to fight you. And then the animation with uh, the frame that we actually get for the update um, loading screen, it is pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. Uh, looks really cool. I uh, love Nick Fury with the gun. He looks so menacing back here. He looks so mad. It's pretty cool. Uh, so then he gets into showing us the rewards for the legendary battle and some notable things. A CTP of Rage is involved in it, so you know, I'm going to be buying that up pretty soon. Uh, I need as many Rages as I can get, so adding another Legendary Battle with a CTP of Rage is actually huge, uh, and I'm actually a really big fan of this. Uh, they also added the Runes Chest from Otherworld Battle, uh, and then other, most notably, uh, reward is a 4-star Spectrum Artifact and a Level 6 Potential Enhancement Ticket. So then we get into the new changes to ABX uh, and ABL. And off the bat, they say that ABX and ABO have uh, now got uh, increases on their caps. Now, the numbers that he spit out didn't sound uh, right. So I'm going to wait till the four or not the forums, the um, patch notes to really give you guys the insight on what, how high you can go now, how you, how you can score. Uh, 15 million uh, looks right, uh, but how he said it, I don't know, it confused me. But basically, they had a new rewards uh, from uh, before. To 15 million. So yeah, 7 million, 15 million, I think it's right. Uh, so there's now three new rewards. You got an Uru's chest uh, at 10 million. Uh, at 13 million, you got a chest. And then at 15 million, you got chests. And the chest 
Exactly. So if you heard him, the chest actually actually include uh, the team up collection uh, tokens that we actually need uh, a lot of <laughs> for upgrading in the team co up collection. So if you haven't checked out that video where I explain it, make sure to go check it out. This is huge, guys. Uh, it means that it's no longer a sort of um, pay to uh, get, I guess. It's still a whales game because obviously you got to score ridiculously high in ABX, but it encourages you to play ABX even more, which is good because uh, ABX is such a good game mode. Uh, they actually go over to the legendary uh, battle, and he actually doesn't show the rewards. Uh, they, he said at the beginning that they added uh, more rewards to legend as well. I'm assuming it's similar to ABX uh, with just the um, chess, uh, but he doesn't mention it, so I guess we'll have to wait for the patch notes uh, to see that uh, in depth and more clearly. Then the next big thing he talks about, uh, and the sort of final change here to ABX and ABL, that there's actually a training mode now. So you can go select whatever round, whatever day you want, and actually go use uh, some of these characters and practice them uh, and sort of get your ABX and ABL runs down. Uh, so when the day actually comes up, you can actually use it really well. Now, it seems like a very small change, but for a content creator like myself, it is actually huge, and I actually love this small change uh, because of the fact that now I can go practice and do practice runs with characters that I'm reviewing for. So for example, with Captain Marvel, I won't have to wait for ABX or ABL day to roll in. Uh, I'll be able to just go pan over to it in the training mode and use her just like that uh, and be able to make a video for you guys on her as soon as possible, which is huge because then you can get your reviews done in like three, like especially for me, I can get it done in three days. I can go World Boss, GBR, or World Boss, ABX, ABL, GBR, three back to back days, boom, done for level 70, then the three for level 80. And then if I go decide to go to tier four with the character. So yeah, it's a really nice uh, change. It's very small, probably mostly for content creators and newer players who are trying to learn how to play ABX and ABL, uh, but something that really had me excited uh, and happy about uh, that change. Then that's pretty much it. Uh, he sums up the update uh, and what it's all going to be about. And then we get the coupon code uh, that is called Marvels Unite. So make sure to go use that uh, before uh, Wednesday uh, morning. Uh, so before, so right after the update drops, basically, uh, you want to make sure you go use this coupon. Uh, I haven't used it myself, so I'm not sure what the rewards are. Uh, I'm assuming it's just biometrics, uh, possibly crystals. We'll wait and see. I'll probably post in the community uh, section what I got uh, to let you guys know. But yeah, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it uh, for the update live stream. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little breakdown. I hope uh, I summed it up pretty well for you guys. Uh, and I hope you guys are as hyped as I am for the update. I know a lot of people aren't uh, hyped for it because it's the Marvels, and there's a lot of con a lot of talks about that and whatnot and opinion. Uh, but overall, I'm really happy with it. They gave us a lot to work with. I mean, they gave us uh, four new uniforms, two new upgrades, uh, two new transcendent upgrades. It was a whole new legendary battle with CTP of Rage, which is a huge plus, and some ABX and ABL updates uh, that are help out content creators and newer players. And then, of course. Uh, the uh, big changes to the rewards that now let us get tokens for the team-up collection, uh, which we, of course, been needing desperately. So yeah, that's um, that about sums it up, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, guys. We'll be back with the patch notes uh, video uh, later tomorrow in the afternoon, right before the update drops, uh, and then we'll be uh, probably making a video that night to hopefully have it up either late that night or the next morning, uh, Wednesday morning. Uh, for the actual update. So yeah, have a great rest of your day, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.